guys, thanks for watching Analyst Defense. So you'll see that in the last few videos that we did, we've been focusing on zeros and primarily with this 16 inch Daniel Defense, it's a DDM4 V7. What we wanna to try to drive to you is several people have asked and they say, what does an operator use? What, what does an operator in the military use? You know, mm -hmm. what, what doesn't matter what branch, what do they use? And the typical thing that they use is one lower and they get two uppers. So they get a 10 and a half or an 11 inch upper or they get a 14 inch upper. And so from what I've seen is um, in the daytime, they're gonna use the LPVO at nighttime and a 14 and a half. And at nighttime, they're gonna use the 10 and a half with a, with a red dot. And they vary as to what unit gets what gun and what upper and they're constantly changing. But the one thing that stays consistent with them is they're gonna get a 14 and a half with an LPVO and they're gonna get a 10 and a half with a red dot. Yeah, so for example, this is a mil spec Mark 18 uh, from Daniel Defense, it's their rail. Uh, and this is this has been in service for, for quite a long time. Uh, guys have had these, they still run these. And then we've went through you know numerous iterations of what a 14 and a half inch barrel, you may have started with a standard, you know, iron, uh, fixed iron side on there at one point. Uh, but yeah, that two different upper setup and it all in one case. You know, so so what we wanna promote for you guys now is uh, what we're calling the professional series. And so instead of trying to go out and set up two different rifles, you can save a little bit of money here and you can stay consistent with the back portion of your rifle and the trigger that you have on your rifle. And so we constantly keep the same lower and we just change the uppers. So if we're running a daytime operation as most civilians, um, then we will keep the 14 and a half inch um, with an LPVO. And if you're running nighttime or you're gonna be possibly clearing houses with CQB, uh, I don't know why you would, but in case you were, or you envision that you might, then you might want this 10 and a half. So let's kind of give you a, a kind of a tip to butt overview of what we've done for this professional series. I, it doesn't matter to me. There are a lot of great guns out there. Bravo Company, Geisley, Sword's a new good one. LaRue's an amazing one. Sig's a great one. You can choose any that you would like. We chose these two mainly because the Mark 18 is still so uh, prevalent in the military. Widely used, a lot of battle history with this thing, a lot of iterations to get to what this is too. And we can talk more about why we run a 10.3 uh, or where this came from and what we use it for. Yeah, so all right, on this, uh, the 14 and a half inch that I have, or this is a 16 inch, sorry. The 16 inch, I have the, um, just a standard flash hider. Uh, soon we'll have a couple of more toys for you guys. We're just waiting on them to get here out of NFA jail. And I've got the Modlite dual fuel. I chose the dual fuel so that you would be able to use one, two, three batteries or the rechargeable batteries. And this is the OKW. Um, it will really reach out, especially with an LPVO to be able to hit 300 meters. Um, I've got a PEC 15, um, just the Daniel Fence broomstick on it. The VTAC sling, um, we changed and put the LMT stock on here. Uh, I changed the trigger to the Geisley SSAE. Um, the Badger Calm, the height on this one is 1.93. Uh, the Leupold Delta Point, um, this is the two and a half MOA with the NVG, which gives me the ability to uh, do closer stuff or identify a target that I might not be able to see and then turn sideways to be able to hit it. And this is the Vortex uh, Gen 3 1 to 10 Razor uh, mill. And then I've got the uh, ad mount optic mounts on there, which I think are really pretty amazing. The gun is, we're, we're just in testing with it. So we're, you'll, if you just keep following, you'll see that there are several group videos where we're finding out what the groups are, what the zeros are on this. Basically to put together a complete professional kit that you can take anywhere you want. And then uh, we've got this. So we'll talk about 10.3 again, as we kind of mentioned, mil spec upper from Daniel Defense. Um, you know, a normal mil one that you would get in military would not have a plastic dust cover, it'd have a normal metal dust cover. But otherwise, mil spec rail, mil spec barrel, they're pinned and recoil. So we'll start at the front, Surefire War Comp. This is a three prong, you would normally get a four prong. Uh, again, PEC 15, LA5, uh, Mod Light. We ran remote switches on this one and a, a Unity 
uh, button switch so you can double click and it will turn on your light, your laser, IR laser. You can single click and hold and it'll turn on your light, which is nice so you don't inadvertently uh, hit white light. We put the Magpul angle foregrip on here. It's pretty common. This is a, this is an issued item that you can get um, in a SOP mod kit. It kind of keeps your hand, uh, you know, with these Picatinny, you, you kind of can cut your hand up. So this gives you a nice purchase. And also on the short, shorter barrels, especially if you're not running the suppressor, even if you are, keeping your hand in a consistent placement and not having to creep up and hit that suppressor is real, real, real hot and burn yourself badly. Um, or worse, you know, you, uh, if you're not running one, you get your finger up here and you blow your finger off. That's what I did. So then just Ranger Band here, holding down our cable management. Uh, it's it's pretty hasty right now, but uh, it, it's a, again, testing. So it's not completely tied in. As we work our way back, we have a Unity Riser EOTech mount. And this helps get all of it above your pack in the front. So you can see, gives a little more heads up attitude. It also allows you to run see-through night vision. So when you're running a 14 or 31, you can look through, this is the MVG model. So you can put this on night vision and see your optic through here. For some reason, your peck went down or um, it wasn't working right correctly or you know something took some damage. So then back to the end, we just have the, the Geisley charging handle and that's it. Yeah, and so you guys ask, what, what does an operator use? Um, well, this is pretty much the system that they use. The details can vary a little bit. They vary to you. So that is the, the goal of this. You'll, we have the, the the four zero videos with the 16 inch. We've got four zero videos with the 10 and a half inch, which you're going to see is kind of cool. Um, the differences in, in velocity and what they do with the ammo that we have. And we're just going to continue to review these guns, set them all up, get them going for you. It's just a series. And hopefully it inspires you to strive to be a professional rifleman. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment down below. Tell us what we did wrong. Tell us what we did right. What, do, what, do, what is your dream? What do you want to do? What do you currently have? You know, and um, uh, as we go, we'll review different rifles with different setups, different optics. Uh, this is where we started. We thought it'd be a fun series for you guys. And so we appreciate you very much and stay tuned.